Good afternoon and good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Dr. Mario Championship. Oops, Championship Channel. We are going to host today's January Silver Bracket. We've got three matches for you and four players. We've got Ramsey Fox, Sergeant Saras, Luke, and Bumbledon. Some of them joining their very first bracket. So welcome everyone. We're going to have a great time this afternoon. And joining me to call the action is Uke the Librarian. Uke, how's it going? Doing just fine, Savage. How about yourself? Great. I'm, I'm just so excited to see these players and see these new players joining us. Yeah, tell me about it. Three of these four players have never played a match uh, in a, one of our tournaments before. So I'm excited to see what they're going to do. Um, and yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a heck of a tournament. Yeah. And we've got so much going on. We got, had so much going on this month and we're going to talk about an event that you're going to be hosting next month, but you're going to be seeing our player on the left, Ramsey. Ramsey is playing from Waco, Texas, where there's a live Tetris event and there will be a live Dr. Mario versus tournament tomorrow. So that's pretty exciting. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Ramsey is our one seed and is the only player of the four that we'll see today who has actually played in a tournament before. Uh, Ramsey did get a win in the Silvers back in November and has actually made a main bracket back in October. Uh, Sergeant Saros is, as I understand it, because I'm not usually out there, a uh, big regular at our uh, weekly checkups. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, neither one of these players is new, new, but I uh, can't wait to see what they are going to provide us. We are going to be playing six to nine because this is technically our semifinals. Awesome. Oh, but before, before we get into the match, actually, I'm not calling this one. Betty B is calling this one. So, Betty, how are you? Hi, everyone. I was wondering if we got a change. Yeah, <laughs> nope, <change>. nope. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Um, I am really excited to call this match. Uh, both of these individuals have been working really hard on their speed game, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, you know, this is just us getting off script because I completely forgot that uh, you and I were calling the first one as well, Betty. <laughs> No worries. I was just leaving room for us talking about all the excitement going on this month, uh, including your uh, SNES tournament that I guess you're you'll be talking about later. Yeah, that'll be uh, that, that. That's our big announcement. It'll be coming up. Uh, so definitely, if you're an SNES player, you'd want to stick around, and we'll be making some announcements about that. Uh, till then, though, we've got both these players up, so we may as well get them ready to rock and roll. Saros gives us a ready. And uh, as soon as we get a ready from Ramsey, we are going to be ready to... I, I'm just going to keep saying ready until we've got both readies. <laughs> That's how it works, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. All right, we've got readies from both players. And again, this is going to be best of three, levels six through nine. And winner will go on to our finals. And I want to see if the uh, kind of energy of competition at Waco will uh, get Ramsey to go... Um really really fast so that's that's what i'm hoping for that that competitive energy just get feeds him and and has him go super fast and get a pb but here we go three two one pills yes indeed so i know we were uh just kind of peeking in on uh ramsey's uh matchup before or his play beforehand and uh it looked to me like he's definitely got his uh versus brain on and uh you know you you know more about that than I do, Betty, but I, I feel like that's going to mean more uh, more combos, more of the sort of plays that are going to score you uh, well against your versus opponents. And you can see it right there where he, um, you know, is building up for those kind of short stacks, uh, we like to call them, and um, not really clearing any viruses with that clear that he did. So um, definitely a virus play or a, a versus play but um, still making some work here on this board. And Sergeant, on the other hand, uh, he actually has not a lot of color diversity with uh, that blue and uh, the column eight covering up his yellow. So um, we'll see how he deals with this hot dog situation he has going on. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, rightly putting a horizontal together, gets that on the reds in uh, his second row. 
miss the count to three. That mm -hmm. is uh, that is something we all know and feel. Uh, but it has decided to go ahead and set up as a horizontal. Uh, that's going to be a good play. He's still going to end up having to take that uh, set of yellows out before he's going to be able to get to uh, the horizontal on that blue in, uh, was that column five? If and he I decides to do it away. horizontally. I look away and look back, and Ramsey's down to his uh, last last virus now, so he's making short work of this and out at a 140-49, about? Thereabouts. So, uh, yeah, this is, Sarge is going to have to to really find his way through this one. Uh, it's it's the way these end games can go, um, and that's that's something we expect from players who don't have we'll as much this. speed. That was a wonderful under under clear for him to drop that blue into place with it, which is exactly what he wanted. So he's making some really good plays um, on on Sergeant's side. Absolutely, he's doing a great job. It's uh, end games tend to be a little more difficult. One of the the harder things to get started, as uh, he's out at about a two nineteen. He's shaking in his head like he does not like that. Which, um, you know, he he is trying to make some quick work of this so hopefully he'll get back into this game so yeah absolutely uh it's one of the things we've learned about this community is any player can beat any other player at any time and <laughs> uh pretty much there's no lead is safe <laughs> unless you're just about an entire level in front of somebody else uh no lead has ever proven to be 100 percent safe and, and also, we um, since this is Sarge's first tournament, I know me and my first tournament, it was a whole bunch of jitters. So um, that might oh, be yeah. coming into play as well. So we'll see how um, that impacts the other games. But he's he's doing some good work. And here's a clear, oh, man, that combo from, from Ramsey was beautiful. That was a waterfall of um, a clear. So love to see it. <laughs> Yeah, Ramsey taking the lead into this level is uh, holding serve, which is really all you need to do if... Uh, oh, oh, got a misflip there. That yeah. one, you could see the, the frustration on his face. As well, uh, Ramsey is playing on high speed, mm -hmm. which is something we don't see as often with players who uh, aren't as experienced. Mm -hmm. uh, now, a lot of players love it, and there is no... Uh, there's no harm in doing it, but, uh, sometimes, sometimes it, it, the, the extra speed, the extra time that you would normally have in medium, uh, kind of disappears, but we are looking at just about a tied up game as Ramsey out at a 413, but, uh, Sarge does have a little bit of time difference and is out at a 409. So, uh, yeah. pretty close game here. What a comeback for Sarge. So great work on that seven and into eight. Um, and let's go. <laughs> we got a game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We do. But um, speaking of, about the yeah. time difference that you were talking about, we actually have that uh, going uh, discussion about that in our discord. So if somebody in chat could post in that, that discord link, but we talk about all sorts of things for anybody who's new to uh, Dr. Mario, you can ask questions of people have been, who've been, been doing this a while so um definitely come to our discord we would love to have you <laughs> yes indeed all right so um i've been watching ramsey and now i'm looking over at sarge he's got a, a wow really clogged up block over there and i see just as i look away ramsey's figured <laughs> out the uh that the combo that he's been clear. he'd been sitting on uh yeah he he was kind of i think trying to figure out exactly which pill he wanted as uh is that JB just making an appearance over there? That was, that was. <laughs> so I thought that was. Um, so, you know, at Waco, you see just about anybody. <laughs> All right, Sarge with a little bit of a head <gasps> shake. Oh, wow. But look at that clear that he just did. That was so yeah. wonderful. Like everything set up and basically taking away the trash that he had on his screen. So that was a great move. Yeah, and I like the plan that he's got right here. Uh, well, I thought he was going to put that yellow mm -hmm. or the, the yellow red red side down oh, in an my. attempt to make horizontal. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, okay. Yep. He's, uh, he's working on his plans. I think oh. after these yellows go away, that'll be a little clearer to him. 
Uh, but then the question is going to be, what do you do about this blue? As uh, Ramsey added a 613, and now Sarge is uh, finding himself just a little bit behind again. But as we saw in level seven, he can make this up. <laughs> oh, absolutely. So. This is uh, well within striking distance for, for Sarge. Uh, looks like he is going to go with the horizontal on that last red. Makes his way out. Now he's free and clear to just take out this blue. Gets the double. And the third one out of the 632. Ooh, a nice short stack on Sarge's side. And ooh, uh, on, on Ramsey's side, we do have a little bit of a situation on column seven, how he's going to take that out. Um, probably recommend a, uh, yep. I was, I was afraid of that because I saw if he tried to set up the red horizontal that it would drop and then become trash. So um, we'll see, see what he does to solve that situation. He's still within the speed range of being able to knock that out with a double red if he gets True. it. True. Uh, the the game does speed up every ten viruses or every ten pills, uh, but you know that's. Let's see if he's going to try it here. <gasps> he does there and gets it. That is <laughs> not Good the job. easiest thing to pull off. But that did allow uh, you know Sarge to get back into this uh, game, and he actually took the lead here and has the time. Uh, lead so you know this is just what we were saying that Sarge can surge back yeah, absolutely and uh, yeah, it's kind of what we were expecting I, I was expecting a couple of really good back and forth matches in our uh, in our first round um, Sarge uh, his internet is a little wonky he is recording for us so that's good just in case we do lose him uh, we've you know players are encouraged to record their themselves if they think their internet's going to go out especially. And uh, uh, Sarge has already posted that he will be doing that today. So if we do lose him, uh, we will be able to go back and check as, uh, wow, he's made a strong yes. comeback here. Is two blues away from taking this one. On Ramsey's side, the look at that, it's like everything red. Red yep. as far as the eye can see. So that is rough. But uh, Sarge just took the first game. So congratulations out here uh, making making work. So I love it. I love it. 832. Absolutely. So GG's to Sarge. Uh, Ramsey looking to just finish this one out. I wouldn't blame him one bit. Uh, definitely put on a really good play, flip this one around, and out at a 9.07. So, GG's to both players. That's one, uh, you know, that, that late RNG for, for Ramsey really, really hurt him. Uh, so, you know, that doesn't happen every game. And, uh, and it's, it's very possible we're going to see ourselves a, a decider. I know Ramsey's hoping for that. Uh, but Sarge is looking to try to take it away. I know for a fact that both of these players have turned in times better than this, uh, it, both in weekly, because when we do our um, six to nine practice in weekly, uh, Sergeant uh, has turned in better times. So I'm looking for uh, some some quicker six to nines for both of these players in oh, the yeah. second game. Oh, yeah, you're definitely going to get the shake. You got to get the shakes out after the yep. first one. Absolutely. But, you know, Sarge in his first match has got to be feeling, you know, pretty, pretty positive with the shakes still coming out with that first W. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and I just yeah. noticed he's wearing a Sergeant hat. I believe like uh, if, if you go to his channel and his icon, that's the Sarge hat. <laughs> it really is. All right. So we had our three, two, one pills and chats as we're sitting here talking, uh, <laughs> having a good time. It's if you're not having a good time playing Dr. Mario, well, you're probably playing Dr. Mario. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, as uh, as these two get a good start, I like the start that uh, that Ramsey's made on his board. As uh, Sarge is looking at a lot of blue, but the doctor is providing with blue. So mm -hmm. uh, for his sake, hopefully that maintains as uh, these two make a pretty decent setup into this uh, this first level. Now I will say there was a quite a bit of horizontal possibilities on sergeant's side that he decided not to take um and that is kind of more of an advanced look at the board um so this is just if he c comes back and uh watches this over again just a couple of pointers to look look at 
for future games. <clears throat> now look at this setup that uh, Ramsey's got. Oh wow! Yep. It's it, yeah. It's it's fun when you get to see these, and uh, he's got everything exactly the way he wants it. Um, well, yep. I was wondering if he's going to go ahead <laughs> and put the one more blue on there so that it all triggers at Swag once. Swag out. Yep. <laughs> well, I mean, he's at a versus tournament, and this is exactly what you do. Oh, oh, oh the extra blue went off. I didn't even, I, I didn't see I didn't that see at it. all. Nope. No. Uh, so that was, that, that's tough breaks, but it is exactly what you, you know, the sort of thing that happened to me all the time. Out at a 133 though, and uh looks like he is going to have the advantage over Sarge. Who... Oh, I love I love what I just saw. Sar Sergeant did a uh, quick recalculation seeing that something would not fall in the way that he wanted. So, um, but still having to clean up a little bit of this uh, should be out after this yellow drops at a 147. So that's about what, 15 seconds that yeah. he's going to be making, trying to make up on this uh, second level. He did it level. before. Let's see. Oh, he absolutely did. <laughs> So nice clears out of Ramsey, just getting getting his board really worked down, and uh, you know we're seeing where that that high speed is uh, working to his advantage at the moment, and that's great. You know, um, I I don't I don't play high speed. I I like doing ridiculous plays that I shouldn't be doing. <laughs> Way too much for that. Um, Beef tipping, huh? <laughs> oh well, you know. If you're beef tipping, then it doesn't matter if you're on high speed or not. It's, you know, down press is the same speed, regardless of what speed you're going. Um, and we're just, you know, we're seeing two players put a really solid board together. Yeah, I'm loving how Sarge is keeping a uh, very uh, even top line. So um, really just making good priority of where he's trying to cl clear those viruses. Yeah, and both of them are, are looking at a, a lot of yellow that they're going to be needing mm -hmm. fairly soon. Um, looks like Sarge is getting some of it right now. Uh, Ramsey got what he needed. He's out nice. at a three fifteen. So uh, it's a it's a fairly solid time. Oh, 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 bit of a misdrop there for Sarge. It yeah, looked like his like controller that. just gave up for a moment. Um, let's see if he's going to try. Oh, okay, he's trying to preserve his horizontal on the red, but now he's got to figure out this blue horizontally and. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's going to be able to 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 get that solve figured out. Mm -hmm. uh, goes ahead and uses the red. I don't blame him there. Now the question is, do you wait for the double blue? Decides not to and is now two blue pills away. There's one. There is two, and he's out of 341. Yeah, he made the right decision there because he would have been waiting a while. So whenever you have to wait for a pill to come, that's normally not the position you want to be in. But he is back into eight and uh, Ramsey doing quick work on his eight. Oh, and a nice lightning bolt. Love it. Love to see it. Yeah, uh, Ramsey definitely got the jitters shaken out of himself, uh, is making some really smart clears just all over his board. Um, oh, look at this. Oh, love I see what he's setting plays. up for. <laughs> yeah, it's when you've got all of those interesting shapes on, in the middle of the board, you know, you, you, you want to make something happen. Uh, now it's just a matter of time. Look at all this red needed on Sarge's side, red and yellow. That's oh, but he's he's made some good plays in order to open up that blue in, love, in column eight. Yeah, but uh, Ramsey has figured out his uh, his setup and has everything free and clear with reduced drop time. Uh, he is now one and one more blue away, and out at a, just over five minutes at a five oh nine. That's that's, uh, that's a good time. Yeah, I I've seen many a match where I'd be perfectly happy to have had that <laughs> instead of what I had. <laughs> But wow, it's a very floaty board that he's he's sitting on now. So that that's going to be a bit of a slowdown, especially with these yellows uh, set up horizontally. Uh, he's going to have to decide, is it worth it to try to build the bridge up to be able to take this out? Or does he need to just knock those yellow, knock that red, that yellow off of the top of the red now? Uh, decisions, decisions. Uh, hopefully he makes the right one. It looks like Sergeant might be waiting for a double red to take out that red in column um, column three, but 
we'll see if that comes before he has to make other plans. As we see, uh, Ramsey did choose to continue on and make that bridge. And now, yeah, Sarge, uh, a red blue would have in the right spot mm -hmm. could have really given him some help. But at the moment, uh, this is going to put him a little bit behind. He's going to have to wait on reds and then on yellows. But that nice clear did give him the ability to do so without any trash in the way. So out at a 616. Yeah, it's about a minute behind, um, and that is, that's quite a bit of time to make up, but, uh, you know, it's not over till it's over, as uh, Ramsey's, for the most part, found his way out of this really complicated level nine. Um, he's, he's still got a little bit of garbage hanging around here and there, but for the most part, it's, uh, it's pretty manageable. Uh, now he's just kind of waiting around to get the right pills. Looks like this is going to be one of them. This is a nice Beautiful. column drop. Beautiful. And, and the fact that it leaves him with that red uh, able to be knocked out horizontally, that's, that's pretty nice. So Sarge into level 9 and uh, no access to blue. That is going to be, that's going to be a pain point. Uh, he is going to get... It looks like he's going to drop it there instead of over in column seven. Uh, so still no blue exposed, and that now and he's he, finally got some. He might have seen that he could have um, taken these blues out together, and, and so may, maybe didn't want to take that from the top. So it might have been a um, conscious play, but yeah, normally when uh, you're trying to decide between... What pill or what viruses to get? You're trying to look for color diversity, so that's just something uh, that comes with playing a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, a lot of things, a lot of things come with playing a lot, including heartburn. But <laughs> uh, we've got a great clear out of Ramsey, but now he's got this uh, this kind of muddled corner. Uh, looks like he wants to handle some horizontals. I don't blame him there. I'm not sure what he's going to do after the oh. first one, though. A bit of a misdrop there. You know, he can take oh, out yeah. these yellows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like taking out the yellow on top of the red is going to be the, the play. Uh, but that's going to leave him with red on red, so it's going to make it down. take a little bit longer, but he gets the right pills. Oh, man. Out but he's still ahead on time, so we have 10 seconds to see if we can get yellows on on Sarge's side. This is this is insane. Oh, oh, do we have a tie? We have a tie. So, oh my uh, we're gosh! Gonna, exciting. So we're gonna, we're gonna put a pause on. We're gonna get a verification from uh, from a restreamer, the Dave. Or from Savage, I don't know. Whoever is going to be watching these things, we're going to double check and see if we do have a tie. Uh, it appeared to be one on our screen, but uh, we are going to wait for verification. If we do have a tie, the players will go on to level 10. Otherwise, uh, they will call the winner and we will see. And we will, you know, play for uh, play, either play our next, our next match or we'll play our decider. That was that wonderful. Was... Yeah, like yeah. I, I could see that the timer kept going out a bit after that last virus uh, went on Sarge's side. So I think it's it's a tie. And with ties, so if it is actually a tie, what we do so is ask the players to play the next level. And um, I assume that happens in Silver Bracket as well. Is that correct? I, as far as I know. Okay. <laughs> uh, the one thing about a tiebreaker is that is different from our normal play is that um, a a top out will lose no mm -hmm. matter what. Uh, normally, if you top out, you can just continue on <gasps> the level you were playing. But we have the official from our restreamer, the Dave, that it was a tie. So for all, um, yep. So Ramsey just said. Level 10, that is correct. So, Sarge, if you can also put in chat that you understand level 10. Let's see. Oh, not yet. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right so, um, 
yeah, it's level 10. And as we said, uh, let me go ahead and put that in chat. That top out is an automatic loss. So don't top out. <laughs> so no, no top out stats here. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, so I don't I I don't know that I've done a uh, a tie here. I've I, I've watched several of them. I don't know that I've ever called a tie, so this is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm All excited right, got, to see a level ten. Let's go. We got readies from both of our players. First one out of this level ten is going to be our winner of game two, and we'll decide, and that'll determine if we go on to a decider or if we are ready to uh, go on to our next match. Good luck to both players. Oh, Flindo says that we've we've called a tie. So there you go. <laughs> I've called so many matches in the last year. It's so hard to remember. All right. And you're one of the many voices of, of commentary, but one of the ones we like the most. So oh, we're glad you. when you do. <laughs> okay, so looking at the top of Ramsey's board, I've got to say uh his blue access has started off as a little rough, but oh, he, uh, does here. <gasps> he did it. <laughs> Oh, oh, but then and gets a miss the drop right after. I got too excited. You uh, did. It's okay. <laughs> on Sarge's uh, side, though, he is uh, making some some clears and uh, getting the pills that he needs, the blues and the and the yellows that he needs on his board. Yeah, and uh, making some very safe plays. You know, there's variations on some of the things that we'll see these players do and go and think to ourselves, uh, this would have saved, you know, five or six drop times and all this. But uh, overall, you, you've got to go with what play is safer because, or, you know, whatever play you're most comfortable with, because mm -hmm. a misdrop is always slower than, uh, than anything you could do to uh, save time. So, uh, I, I didn't make any sense saying that. I know what I meant to say, but uh, <laughs> what I'm saying is messing up is slower than than uh, playing your game. Playing your game. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Betty. You know I what got I'm you. To I say. got you. <laughs> All right, so we're tied up on virus count uh, again. We've got Sarge with a little bit of an advantage when it comes to the uh, the actual game clock, uh, but we will see how this goes as uh, Ramsey takes a bit of a lead in the, in the virus count uh, with some really, really good smart play. Yeah. And um, Sarge kind of struggling to see what he's going to do with these red and yellow pills, because as you can see, he does not have a lot of access to those colors or at least direct access. So um, he's kind of having to throw them away in unique spots and, um, that's letting Ramsey kind of take this this game and run away with it with a 216. So um, I don't know if this is going to be possible to clear in seven seconds, but. We'll wait the clock out regardless. Yes. And there it is. So it we are calling this match for Ramsey. So, uh, but we'll see if Sergeant just wants to finish this out or if he's going to go ahead and get ready for our next match. But either way. Gonna see some good playing here. Yeah, so GG's to both these players and uh you know putting on a good show for us. If you like what you're seeing, be sure to give them a follow. Um I like this prep preparation. Okay, I was thinking it was gonna clear over on that side. Uh, one of the mistakes that I make probably most often is not accounting for what's gonna drop when I'm setting up multiple horizontals. Mm -hmm. So um even then, you know, I'm looking at it going, is this going to, is is that preparation? It, it didn't end up being, but uh, Sarge putting some, some smart plays on and uh, is going to be out at a 315. So GG's to both players. It is time for a silver decider. Well, let me just get my cup of tea. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Betty, with you, I wouldn't have been surprised. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have our players reset, and we're going to go back to our bracket of six to nine for the semifinal uh, bracket. 
Absolutely. So these two are uh, are going to ready up. We've got a ready from Sarge. And uh, Ramsey oh. needs a second to get things reset. As you can see, the Tetris qualifier, I believe it is, going on in the background there. But don't be distracted. This is where it's at. Silver bracket. Yeah, absolutely. Back to Mario here. <laughs> there we go. We've got whatever player is actually playing uh, on the screen, so you can't see the, the board itself. Right. Exactly. We don't want to see that anyway, right? <laughs> All right. Ramsey getting his drink in. Can't say I blame him for that. And uh, once we get his timer reset, we'll be ready to. All right. We've got readies for both players. And it's three, two, one, and pills. And I did notice that Sarge is on fever, so maybe that's what's what's given him that edge. <laughs> Team fever, right? Not I mean, for you. <laughs> call it what you want. <laughs> All right. So um, the board on Ramsey's side is a little lopsided. Uh, but he's getting the right pills. It's just there's there's going to be some weird drop time coming up uh, if he doesn't get exactly what he needs. Uh, I do like this decision wow. to just go ahead and eat uh, eat some yellows. Uh, let's see if he lays this reds down. Okay, decides not to. That would have been a, a, a difficult play for most players. Uh, a bit, not quite a swim, but definitely a... a just not the easiest thing to do to lay those reds down horizontally in uh, six and seven. And while that was all happening, Sarge is making some quick work on his his line, but it's not as uh, even of a um, of a board as what we're used to seeing from him. So, but that was oh gosh, a drop clear into a fat log. That of the combos that you can do, I think that's my favorite. So <laughs> wonderful play. Yeah, definitely some uh, definitely some good play. It does take a little time to set up, and uh, the amount of drop time that he had, you know that I think that was where the where the head shake came from. Like he knows that it's it's just a lot of drop time, and this board is going to generate that. You know, you can look at how much is floating on that right hand side. So Ramsey out at a one forty, so it's a good solid time, and now he's on to a level seven that. Uh, yeah, I could take it, take it or leave it. It's uh, it, it's nothing terrible, but nothing that makes you go, "Ooh, I love this board." Well, on on Sarge's side, the RNG is just not with him. Uh, he needs uh, with this corner play that he's doing. He needs a lot of very specific pills, and the doctor is just not giving it to him. So, um, but he's making some good plays. He's still trying to make progress on his board, um, and definitely doing that it's just going a little bit slower than he would probably like yeah but this double yellow is going to be just magnificent for him as he's out at a 215 and uh you know this is he, he has been behind at the end of every level six <laughs> and has won and tied so uh i i would not put anything past this man he is capable of doing just about anything with it absolutely And on Ramsey's side, he is making, look at this play again, that those combo plays, I, I agree with you, Uke. I think he is ready for Waco. So you guys better watch out tomorrow. He is coming for you because these drop clears, these combo plays that he's doing, um, it's wonderful setup and wonderful foresight that he has. Ooh, that, uh, that missed drop for Sarge. That's, that's going to be pretty rough. Um, he is going to get what he needs out of it, and he's not playing on high speed, so it's not going to be too terribly difficult to get uh, to get these yellows positioned, yeah. just like he just did. He gets it taken care of, but uh, Ramsey now added a 325. Yeah, with a wonderful drop combo again, um, so making some, some quick work of it. Yeah, uh, Sarge putting... A horizontal on that did create a lot of garbage, but uh, I mean, you know, it's a it's a good horizontal. It's just a matter of will it work out for him. I do like how much uh, how much of a horizontal play he's setting up for 
with the yellows in this bottom right corner. He's got a lot of good access to yellow down there, and hopefully, yeah, with these reds knocking out, that's that's going to be good for him. And Ramsey's actually playing uh, really well. Has a really diverse board and putting the pills in the right spot. Um, he and a short stack to follow. So doing really well on his end as well. Down to twelve in the level eight. Yeah, and I gotta say, um, again, holding serve when you've got when you've got a lead of you know the the amount of time that he's got. That's that's really all you can ask of yourself. Uh, you know, doing anything beyond that, you run the risk of really uh, of losing because you're you know trying things that may not may not work out. Mm -hmm. uh, so the fact is, Ramsey's not going out of his way to set up anything that that could lose him the match. And uh, I love the setup that he's got here, waiting for one more red. He's at a level eight at a five oh four. Now, one quick thing, I want to go back a little bit on what um, Sarge did to kind of give him some insight. There was a time when he could have put the blue to cover a hole. And normally your gut says, don't cover a hole, don't cover a hole that you need. Uh, but really, in that case, it would have allowed him to clear the blue with the trash not getting in the way of the uh, way to cl clear red. So if he listens back to this, uh, be looking for that as well. I will say, though, uh, Sarge managed to come back. He's only about seven seconds behind now. Um, having they are put on together... two different levels. Oh, okay. That's what I'm missing. Uh, yeah, so I, 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 I was getting really excited for him. But yeah, <laughs> I, I, see now, I see now he's coming out of seven, and uh, Ramsey is already out of his eight. So, um, yeah, it was still a... a solid effort on seven there absolutely um now we're we're just seeing what ramsey can do that is a an interesting stack <laughs> i didn't see it being created so i'm not sure what i'm looking at here there you go that's what you're looking there at it is. <laughs> it's like calling out alito's boards i just right. don't know i i look at it and i go uh, i looked away tell me what i'm supposed to be looking at uh, and sometimes the people that are playing don't even know it just happens. So, uh, but when it does, we, um, I get excited when it happens to me, like, Oh, that actually worked out for me. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But these, uh, you know, these guys are setting up some, some fun stuff and yeah, I, I knew there was, it, it looked too clean for there not to be a plan. So I was just kind of curious what the plan was. Um, as he's he's making some good work and Sarge really finding uh, some fun clears here. Um, I think he knows he's he's got a bit of a Sisyphean task to to be able to to get a win out of here, but uh, he's still really trying to pound through this eight. But the doctor is just giving him nothing but uh, uh, blue viruses and really no blue pills to work with. And Ramsey added a. At a seven twenty-four, so, so he's going on to ten. I don't think he knows, or he does not need to. So this is all just, I guess, for our benefit. <laughs> yeah. Well, GG's to uh, to Ramsey who has uh, who has won this first match. Uh, we will wait for uh, we'll wait for Sarge to finish out his level block. Uh, see if he decides to go ahead and go through. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, the the match is officially called, uh, and GG's to both players. Yeah, and after this match, we will have the uh, two new players to the tournament of uh, Luke. LBB22 is his username, but we have him and Bumbledon. So looking forward to that match as well. But I will not be calling it. You will be back, though, Uke. Enjoy that one. I will be one. back. Thank, <laughs> thank you. So, uh, still more blue and nothing but blue for mm -hmm. uh, Sarge as he's trying to, to pick his way through this one. Uh, yeah, there's not much more to say about this board. It's He just needs blue to finish it. and uh, I do like that he prioritized the other blue um, as opposed to getting the column one because that would have caused a lot more drop time for him. So, um, he is deciding, I think, to stop. So... Yep. 
Absolutely. And, and that's, that's good advice. Uh, you know, slay the one that, that, that took you down. Um, <laughs> so as, uh, as these two finish up, I want to say thank you, Betty for, uh, or as we, we finished up with this match, Betty, thank you for the call. They just can't shut me up, folks. Welcome back to the Dark Mario Championship for our Silver Speed Tournament. I'm Luke the Librarian, and joining me for the second semifinal is Savage Octagon. Sav, what do you think? I loved that match. That was, I, I think, having that tie in there was just what we wanted. Seeing some good play, and we definitely see a lot of potential coming from Sergeant Saras and... Then excited to see Ramsey in the finals. So now we have two brand new players, Luke and Bumbledon. Yeah, so uh, Bumbledon and Jay Riggs are both friends of mine that I've I've known for uh, a couple of years now. We've been really, I, I've been pushing hard on both these guys to come in. Of course, we <laughs> saw uh, Riggs play you last week, and now Bumbledon is here in the uh, silver bracket. I'm pleased as punch to have both these guys in. Um, and I, you know, I, I've just met Luke in, in my chat a month or two ago, and I'm stoked to see him in here as well. Uh, I don't know what to expect, except that it's just going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. I, I love this image on Luke's screen. Nice little self portrait yeah. there. The stick figure. Great. And Luke is a regular now on, uh, on the weekly checkup. So if anyone's interested in having some friendly races every Thursday night, we usually race zero through tens. Although if there's a tournament, we race the level blocks coming up. So feel free to join. Anyone's happy to help you do that. So it looks like we got a ready from Bumbledon. And do we have a ready from Luke? Yeah, we do. Says right. it's last every time. This is because I don't play in the in the weeklies very often. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, it's 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 a good time and honestly that's the best part of anything that we're doing here is it doesn't matter who you are or what you've done where you're from never mind no it's uh, as long as you like dr as Mario, long as will... you like me yeah exactly um, all right yeah. <laughs> as as we uh as we start here we'll we'll uh we'll take you away from yourself uh <laughs> Bumbledon's board, I, it's going to be tough because he's going to be going pretty vertical pretty quickly, especially on that column one. And the colors, just not great. Look at all that red to deal with. So this is probably going to slow him down a little bit, but he is making good basic plays. He's got a nice combo in one and two. So he's just going to be bringing it down bit by bit and looking to prioritize that red. Yeah, that missed drop in seven, uh, six and seven is it has slowed him down just a touch. But um, you know, you can see here it's he's he's just not got anything to do with blue, and that's gonna be that's gonna be a pain. Uh, the doctor loves doing this to us, so uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, Luke obviously he's about twenty seconds behind on time. He's got sixteen viruses left, and has a nice, just a nice board. It's floaty, so like you like to say, so stuff is going to cause a bunch of drop time, but there are some good double possibilities here, and it's just a little bit of use for every pill that can come down, so this won't be too stressful of an end game for him. Yeah, I, I wonder if he's going to... I'm always wondering if somebody's going to build a bridge or not. Uh, Ooh, looks I like, like the he's tuck. considering not building it. Yep, so... Now it's a question of, do you pursue that yellow horizontally? Uh, looks like he is going to knock it out vertically. And 144 for Bumbledon, and it is going to be a 131 for Luke, who has been showing some really good uh, times in our Discord. Yeah, for sure. I think that's that was a great opening one from Luke. I mean, he almost caught up to... Uh, he almost caught up to Bumbledon in real time. And, and so that's the sign that you're doing fantastically well. And he, Luke is currently managing the fact that it's all yellow blue up there at the top. So he's just going to be prioritizing that and a nice long clear down the middle there. He had to put red on columns one and two. So that is going to drop some garbage. That's going to make column one difficult, but he might be able to use that to his advantage. We'll see you. Yeah. Uh, he's, 
so far uh, making some really good plays. I love that horizontal that he just set up there. Uh, meanwhile, on Bumbleton side, uh, he's a little bit of garbage in a situation, but I love this L clear to knock out mm -hmm. all of the garbage. Uh, that is some heads up play. It's not something you see from most players who are just picking up the game for the first time. Uh, not that he is. I'm just saying this is a uh, is sort of it's learned behavior, and I'm glad to see uh, glad to see what he's getting getting through here. Uh, but uh, definitely the advantage is to Luke at the moment. But as we saw in our last game, that doesn't mean anything uh, as you come out of level seven. It only means something as you're coming out of level nine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's for sure. Now, Bumbledon does have those like three yellows in a row. It's not going to work out, but that double yellow, awesome for him. And Luke out at a 305 there on level seven. So fantastic job there. Bumbledon just needs one more blue and it makes sense. To build up from underneath, he could have been out one pill earlier, but doesn't matter. He gets out with a nice lightning bolt at about 336. Yep. And that's, uh, oh, I love the board that he's got. That that entire, oh, yeah. that's Look two full doubles. columns of, horizontal, of doubles. I don't oh, think I've ever gosh. seen that before. Oh, and you know, that you is... start to get bored deja vu when you've played as long as you and I have. But wow, I would love that board. And Bumbledon and, takes care of it exactly the right way, starting off to clear that those reds horizontally. So he's able to take these out in in great fashion. I don't, I'm not used to the doctor being kind. This is well, you know. I mean, I know you got to be nice to him, but yeah. Uh. <laughs> I mean, but look, okay, Luke's board. It's just not what I what I don't want to see. I mean, look at all that. He's got one yellow virus. And so he should really not toss anything away unless it's all yellow. So he's going to need to prioritize red and blue and only use those to clear out those viruses. I'm wondering if he's going to try to build up a platform to clear those blues horizontally. I think it seems like it might be a little tough to do that. Yeah, uh... I mean, the opportunity is there now, but he would just about have to take it like immediately. Mm -hmm. And look, he's not showing like he wants to. Well, I don't know. Maybe he is. All right. So Bumbledon out at a 504. Oh, sweet tea. Sweet tea clear. from Luke. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to see, you know, what that means for Luke. Uh, looks like he is going to be just a touch oh. behind. Yeah, oh, he could have played that red blue slightly differently, and it would have come. Everything would have come down. But now he's free and clear with that blue. So just a couple more. And unfortunately for Bumbledon, he is uh, not been able to take strong advantage of the lead that he's got. Uh, had a couple of misdrops there, and they're starting mm -hmm. to breed. Uh, you know, you hate to see it, but it is, it, it's a common theme. We see our misdrops and then they just kind of build upon each other. It's like the, the chunk of meat that just keeps getting bigger and bigger in your mouth, <laughs> uh, no matter how much you chew on it. So yeah, it's, uh, he, he appears to have recovered almost completely, but, uh, let's see if he takes this horizontal. He does excellent play, uh, and, you know, ends up using it to make a, a really nice combo. So uh, Bumbledon definitely not not falling really far behind, but like I said, not able to take advantage of the uh, the time. Yeah, not able to take advantage of the, mm -hmm. the lead that he gave himself in, with that really good level eight. Yeah, and Luke, I mean, Luke has been struggling with this board. Yellow keeps popping up every now and again, and it's just really not what he needs. And so, you know, in a board like this one, and you're just not going to be able to see down into to deeper layers of the board to try to set up that garbage. It just doesn't look like it's a great idea to try those those kind of strategies. And you, I think Luke wanted to lay that red yellow down side by side as opposed to up and down. And and so that's going to be slowing him down. But he does still have that time advantage. Now, Bumbledon. Oh, yes. Do that cross. Beautiful combo. Look at that. Setting up great. I'm surprised he didn't do that blue red on columns three and four, but you know, that must mean there's other plants. I'm excited to see him. 
Uh, I'll be honest, the amount of head shaking he was doing, I think that was one of those serendipitous plays. But mm -hmm. I'm, I'm with you. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. That that yeah, was come all on. Come on. Let's planned. go. You know, that Let's is pro go. gamer stuff right there. Yes, so. and a timber. No, wait, that's not a timber. That's a drop sweet tea from Bumbledon. I'm just okay, so excited see, about combos, Ook. <laughs> that's one I haven't heard before. So, oh, no, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to make it catch on. The timber is the drop into the fat log. And I think you can you can see now, oh. Luke. Oh man, that red blue in columns uh, five and six. Um, you know that would have been a really good tuck. Didn't quite work out. He's got about eight seconds to finish this out if he wants to take the first win. <laughs> and if uh -huh. RNG is gonna actually give it to him, which it doesn't, so he has nine viruses left. Oh, yes, he gets a sweet tea out of it, yeah, though. Yeah, sweet tea. Every, every match is a win if you get a sweet tea, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. So bubbled him with a, a look of just pure relief in his, on his face. Uh, I think his, as he's realized that he has won game one, uh, but now probably just as much agony as he realizes, I've got to do this again. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. Uh, you win your first one and maybe you're not expecting to win it. Maybe you, maybe you're hoping to, but the adrenaline really kicks in. Uh, the blood's rushing around your ears. It's, it's just a lot when you start yeah. playing in these tournaments. Yeah. So GG's to both players and actually both of those times would have won game one of the last match. So, uh, you know, both these guys putting on some, uh, some good play. And yeah, Bumbledon got that red blitz right at the end, and that really helped vault yeah. him up. But that that level eight, man, I want to know what seed that was. We'll have to we'll have to look it up later. That's uh, yes, I want I want that seed. seed. Yeah, for sure. Now, for those nice. of you who might be new to the game. RNG, we complain about it a lot, but every so often in this version of the game, it will throw the same pill over and over and over again. So for example, we got that double red blitz that we love to talk about. And uh, players who have been around for a long time know exactly the next pill that's coming. And something that might be helpful to keep in mind is that the next pill will always sort of be in an alphabetical arrangement to the pills that were coming before. So for example, you've got RR, which is double red, is going to always be followed by an RY, which is red yellow. That indeed... Uh, Savage going into great teacher mode there. So <laughs> I know that was my teacher voice. I really felt it was. It. I, I uh, could, yeah, I could tell. and it was three, two, one pills. Now yeah. I want to talk about derivatives a little bit. Actually, I really don't. Um, so <laughs> bumbled in into his level six. Now this is a board where he's he's sort of having to tuck and jive all the way around, and that just slows you down. Now he's making good plays there. He's laying things where they should, but it's and a really nice vertical tuck, not easy to do there, but yeah, it's just kind of slowing him down. Not that the plays are bad or RNG is bad. He's just having to maneuver around. Yep. And, uh, make some really good, uh, extra thought. Hey, this is what I need. Um, and looks like he's recognizing that double red is the most likely double to show up. Although it's going to really <laughs> put the punch on him whenever uh, it comes down. And uh, this is going to be one of those levels that you just have to go, mm, not so sure. Ooh, uh, yeah. But if we look at Luke's board, uh, oh. that is almost 100% oops all yellow. In fact, it's yeah. going to be pretty much now. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. That's not the sort of thing we want to see for our players. Uh, but he is getting a lot of the yellow that he needs to make it happen. Mm -hmm. And um, it looks like he might be trying to set up for a horizontal with those yellows down the bottom. And you see him thinking about it. A red or rather a blue horizontal could kind of be coming after that. There is the possibility for that for Luke. But actually, he's able to take out that blue vertically. And now he is free and clear there. Just needs one more yellow. And he'll be out at a 133. And that is a that is a time that we are used to seeing in the gold bracket. So. It's a, it's a really good run from Luke so far. Absolutely. 
So Bumbledon now is going to have to finish this up with three three tuck plays. Um, he's got his first one down. Just got to make sure the second and then the third go through. He's out at a 2.03. A uh, little head shake there. He knows it's uh, it's it's not the best play, but really that wasn't a that was not a terribly favorable board. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, obviously, there's that time differential again, but Luca had 20 to 27, and he can see him thinking because I think he really wants to take those reds out horizontally Here up top, and some nice garbage will fall. Good job. But anything yellow is just buried by a lot of red. It just like strategically plays that red. So we'll see how this goes for him. And meanwhile, on Bumbledon's side, he's going to have to take a lot of drop time in that column too. And just a lot of stuff up high. And then now it's almost entirely yellow on the top of that board. Yeah, it's uh, looking rough for both of our players when it comes to the board you know, what the boards are providing for them. Mm -hmm. Although I, I like, you know, I like the decisions Bumbledon's making. Ah, it gets that L clear out of the way. Um, and Luke has gotten himself down to just about all reds, but uh, everything is is looking pretty open. Uh, he would love, yep, red blues, but now he's got to make sure that things work out. Mm. One under that was very that was That was very clever uh, going underneath on that red, just making sure that, the plans didn't drop down garbage. I think that was really good on Luke's part. Absolutely. Out of the 314, which is a time that Bumbledon has already passed. So we know he's going to be in the lead. It's just a matter of by how much as they enter into level eight. Oh, Bumbledon just showing why medium can work for you. 346. <laughs> that last second uh, pre lock, that is not something you can do. Uh, most of the time on high speed so uh that, yeah you feel really good when you make that on high speed and then you realize you weren't you weren't breathing during it <laughs> so luke dealing with a lot of red here looks like he's trying to set up for a horizontal with the yellows and i think that's a great move because he actually has the possibility for an l yeah actually he can make it a sweet tea if he went vertically but there we go nicely done there from luke very clean play yeah, he's uh, he's definitely again. We're talking about holding serve, just you know, keeping keeping things about as as uh, clear as you can, and uh, you know that's just good, clean, smart play, and it's really working well for him. Uh, Bumbledon side, he's he kind of lost right. that pill <laughs> that, that pill a little bit, but and I hate this board. I mean, this board is terrible. I just I hate it. Yeah, but check this out. Yes, nice horizontal. Nice, nice horizontal there. And I think he's getting ready for another one. There it goes. Yeah, uh, he's getting a lot of what he needs. He doesn't want this drop time, but he he's just resigned himself to it. Yeah, Can't say he's going to have there. to. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, Luke just needs a couple more blues. That double blue would have taken everything out without drop time, but he avoided taking out the red until the very end. Every single row of drop time adds about a quarter of a second. So yeah, that would have added a couple of seconds to his time. And he's out at about a 516 into his level nine. Right. So Bumbledon made a really good last second adjustment just a second ago. Oh, yeah, mm, I've, yeah I, I've done that enough times. That. Uh, he was about to clear out those blues that he just dropped down. Uh, recognized that they were going to be part of a clear and said, oh, no, I want to keep using those. So uh, that quick adjustment, again, it's uh, it's a showcase of smart play, and uh, it really is a sign of really good things to come from this player. Yeah, and speaking of a sign of great things to come, Luke with a sweet T down the right-hand side of the board, now being mired in yellow and red. Just, just a pain. I think he might be going for those blues horizontally up at the top, and... You know, because everything's a red yellow story, that's sort of the place that you could you could put that. So we'll see where that goes. He only has 27 left and drops a nice combo, some viruses, some garbo. Um, and uh, yeah, just keeping this an even top line. So we'll put an out at a 633 to uh, get into level nine along with Luke. And I got to say, he made some good choices right at the end of his board. Um, you know, it's not the situation you want to be in. But uh, he didn't make it 
harder on himself as Luke with a lot setting up mm. on that on that left hand side he's going to be taking a lot of horizontals if he wants to get out of this one fairly quickly yeah he used that column one as a garbage dump and that is dangerous because it, it really does show that he's gonna have to be taking all of that out horizontally so we'll we'll see if he does that because he just won't have the time to to go vertical on that <laughs> and other the good news for that is that he does have two mm -hmm. sets of doubles over there but uh, unfortunately, he's get himself into a situation where it's going to require a double, either a oh, real or it. manufactured. Ah, there it is. Uh, so, yeah, he's he's got the first hurdle cleared. Now it's a matter of getting through mm -hmm. the next couple. Yeah. And Bumbledon making nice work of his level nine. RNG cooperating with him. And he's just making really good, simple plays. That yellow on column four is going to take a little bit of time to clear. But luckily, he's able to use everything else that comes down. So there's no no wait time, no manufacturing of anything. Yeah, uh, but like you said, it's just it's a matter of time. He's got to find it and uh, get the the pills that he needs. I love these blues set up horizontally. That's smart play, and he does prioritize his yellows. That's uh, something some of us have had to learn ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, now Luke is just one red away. One red. And, and there, there it goes. 819. So GG's, we're ready for another decider. All right. And an 830 for Bumbledon. So uh really making a, a nice comeback. He was quite a bit further than that behind, I believe, coming out of eight. So uh just again, good heads up play. And uh yeah, these two give us a show. And if you're interested in checking out the stats or looking up any of your favorite players, you can go to our website at monthly.drmc.gg. We've got hottest times for these level blocks that you can see. We've got all the stats, all the matchups. And currently, I am in the middle of calling and updating the website and we've had some time differentials so this bracket is not perfectly up to date but about 10 minutes after this broadcast it will be very nice we appreciate all the efforts that you put in savage oh, well thank you you too well thanks i talk you do the math everything's great <laughs> but you talk too so i do i all do right. i talk i talk about the math yes all right, so we've got a ready from Bumbledon. And do we have a ready from Luke? We do not yet. And now we do. So we're ready to go on to game three. Oh, wow. I, <laughs> I, I don't know what to expect. I, I, you know, we've, we've seen a tie. We've seen two deciders. And that's in two matches. What? what? <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. So Bumbledon first one out of the gate. And uh, Luke will be right behind him. This is a lot of red on a top line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Luke, yeah. meanwhile, I, I saw the, the hesitation he had. He got, a, uh, he got the double blue to start off. And I know he saw it and thought, oh, this is great. This will go on this blue. And then realized the next pill has, it's a blue yellow. And there's nothing I can do with it if I put, take out these blues. Mm -hmm. uh, went ahead, took the took the uh, bit of garbage, and is you know just making his smart plays right on into this. But it's it's fun to see these things as they happen and go. Oh, yep, I know exactly what he's thinking. Yeah. Now on the other side, Bumbledon. You know, we were really worried about all the red that was on the top of that board. It is all gone, and now it's just all yellow. That's all he needs. So yeah. it's it's gonna be slow going because only one pair is in those doubles and of course he's getting the wrong stuff but i'm not i think i would rather see him clear out those verticals in column seven but goes for the horizontal so i think that might take a little bit longer but now he has the opportunity for a big l on the left hand side of the board just one more yellow to set that up yeah and you know the double yellow stops the drop time but uh rightly Bumbledon chooses to go ahead and knock out as much as he can. Now he doesn't have to worry about drop time. He's out at a 132. Mm -hmm. uh, and Luke is not going to be... I, uh, he may be ahead of him. I can't tell yet. 
Uh, he won't be, but it'll be a close thing. Just a little bit behind. Yeah, I think it's going to be about a 140. There he goes. And a good prioritization at the end to work on that horizontal there from Luke. Ended up with not a lot of job time, no problems there. Bumbledon, I'm not sure if he wanted to put that blue-yellow in column two that way. I think he wanted to go horizontal with that. And it's going to be awfully hard to clear out that blue garbage horizontally. But luckily, he's got blue-yellow in columns one and two, and the garbage is cleared up. Yep, that's, uh, that's exactly what you want to see. Uh, now, he's got kind of a, a very split board, as does Luke. Um, I'm not sure which one I dislike more. They're not fun <laughs> boards. I, I dislike Luke's more, I think. Yeah, that's, that's what I was... Me. That's the direction I was leaning, but it's... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it, it, there, there are a couple of really rough boards. Um, but uh, Luke did yeah. clear a bunch of garbage off the board with a sweet tea. That's great to see. And Bumbledon not slowing down here. You know, I think trying to figure out once he drops this blue in column six, I mean, the dream would be, well, first a fat log. The dream would be to be able to get those reds horizontally as well. Um but uh, it's it's going to be a little tough. You got to do the platform. You got to avoid triggering those yellows. But now he's now he's got a platform. Yeah, he had that triple ready to go, and uh, you know, two reds away. This is a this is a really good place for him to be mm -hmm. out of the three nineteen. Um, as Luke is making some solid progress, uh, doesn't get those reds in a double, uh, mm -hmm. but. You know, that would have been a, a bit of a tricky play. It would have involved some drop time. I understand making it, but mm -hmm. uh, that is going to that did cost him a little bit. And now the doctor is saying it's going to cost you a lot more because I'm not going to give you what you need. Yeah. In Luke, I see the makings of a strong tuck style player um, because do he's <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't do it. That way leads to pain. <laughs> hey, hey, it's the kind of pain that I like. Um, yeah, me too. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, because he, you can see him maneuvering uh, a lot that way. Oh, you see him pause, I think, right before he gets pause, out of pause. level seven. So, Luke into level eight, but Bumbledon about 13 viruses ahead just by, by our screen and really nice horizontal work. I loved that horizontal setup. I was. You know, I, I was watching it as it as it came up, and I, I I kind of made a quiet yes as soon as I saw it because that's that's a hard play to see when you've got a, a horizontal opportunity that's tucked in amongst other other viruses. You know, especially when it's just a single, it's not always the most apparent thing. And you know, I was very happy to see him pull that one off. Uh, he is making very short work of this level eight. Yeah, uh, everything really was way way over on the left to start off. Uh, but he is now just waiting on some yellows, uh, kind of limited opportunities. Mm. Does, yeah. does Yeah. He's not, it's, it's interesting. Like, you know, he's got so much yellow on the top. Just use the yellow on the yellow every time you get that opportunity. I think he used a red yellow on the side. And, you know, I don't think he's, it's not dire straits yet or anything, but and no, he's, he's out of level eight with a really nice combo. But yeah, I think different prioritization might have sped it up just a little bit. Yeah, that's uh, and that's that's just a lot of practice is Luke. Oh, with a, a pretty rough misdrop there. Mm. Uh, lays some garbage down, ends up on top of a virus. He has to clear that out, does get it cleared out. But, you know, every little bit counts uh, in these, especially in these later levels as you're uh, as you're trying to fight through this, but uh, so far so good to try to finish this one out. And Bumbledon, man, nice combo mm -hmm. there. Nice uh, combo. He's, he's sitting on a lot of garbage, is what I was going to say. Yeah, he is. You could see him hesitating a little bit because he knew that garbage was going to be created. So that's always a good sign. And a beautiful sweet tea from Luke there. It's going to be a little bit difficult now to get at that red. He sort of has a, a little trouble with that end game coming up. Oh, and he gets the double blue. I think this is what he's going to want. Yep. Now he wants a blue red. The, the problem is he's looking That's for good. specific bill, but he does get it. Now any blue and any red will do the trick. 
does it in as few pills as he can, 633 mm -hmm. out of level 8. And right. Bumbledum and... was a really solid lead, though. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Now, it's this is tricky. The column that I am not a fan of in Bumbledon's board is that column five. Um, you know, some of us would be really itching to try to de-sandwich that red, clear that red out horizontally, and then get the yellows from in between. But because that red is up there in row four, it's just a lot of a, it's a challenge. So I think he's going to be working on some some other clears as opposed to that one. Ooh. Yeah, he does have this the opportunity good. for the horizontal. There he takes yeah. it. You know, one more... One more red ahead of that would have given him the opportunity for a T clear, but uh, yeah, didn't need it. He's he's firmly in the lead here, and with a time of seven thirty-five, Bumbledon will be unless there's a miracle. I mean, it would have to be a literal miracle. I've never, I can't imagine clearing out four viruses in or eighteen viruses in four seconds. But uh, Bumbledon will be our second finalist to face Ramsey in. Uh, in the finals and uh, GG's to both players. Luke's going to go ahead and top himself out. Uh, doctor says you don't even get to do that. <laughs> so GG's to both players as uh, our finals are going to be coming up. Ramsey versus Bumbledon. Welcome back everybody to the Dr. Mario Championship channel and welcome to our finals of our January silver speed run bracket. Want to thank Puzzle Speedrun for the raid. They just had a Dr. Mario 64 story mode tournament. And we do in uh, in the booth already know who won that. And anyone who's watching knows. But we are not going to spoil that in case you want to go back and watch the VODs. I know that I do. And I'm currently joined in the booth to call these finals by Betty. Betty, welcome back to the booth. Hey, Savage. Looking forward to these finals and getting to call it with you. Well, thank you. And we are going to have Ramsey, the winner of her first match, versus Bumbledon, who we just saw take down Luke in an excellent match. And these two are going to be playing levels 8 through 11. So what are we expecting out of these levels, Betty? Well, it is going to take more time just by the nature of this game, having more viruses as you go up through. The wow. Sorry, mm -hmm. I had to just take a pause and look at that. Yeah, yeah that was Ramsey. a good. <laughs> yeah, that was a good setup. Mm -hmm. Let's see more of that. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> well so levels 8 through 11 the board starts to become a little more compact and you start to value those bigger brain setups where your garbage falls down and your garbage makes sense on top of other stuff and that's a little easier to do in these levels especially as you go higher and higher so we're going to be seeing less immediate drop time less giant holes in the board and uh so we'll get to see some good combos going. Yeah, and uh, absolutely needing that foresight of what's to come, not just, you know, clear what's in front of you. So um, we'll see if these players have been practicing that and, and can give us a show. Yeah, and we have already three, two, one pills. Ramsey is playing from Waco, Texas, where there is a Tetris qualifier going on right now. And the a Dr. Mario versus tournament is going to be tomorrow. So that's the screen you see behind him. And uh, both of these players off. And Ramsey off to a little bit of a lead here. But Bumbledon's board a lot more even on the top line. A lot more even, but a lot less color diversity as mm -hmm. he basically only needs yellows. And um, <laughs> so we'll, hopefully he can, the doctor will give him those, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but as we're saying that, it's it's happening. But Bumbledon is going to end up in a pile of red pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, Ramsey's got a little more diversity, although his yellows are now tucked down in the bottom. He gets a nice horizontal there to clear out column two. And did not go for the horizontal with that double red. He could have gone for a horizontal in row three. You know, it's not, it wasn't the most super advantageous thing, so he's not hurt by it at all. Just a little bit of swag. And speaking of swag, nice combo down the right-hand side by Bumbledon. And another a T, yep, T clear. And he is making good work. I'm trying to make this more even level, but um, after this yellow, he has nothing on the left side. Yeah, and that's going to be, that's going to be tough. 
but I watched oh this. my gosh. Oh, oh, I really wanted the oh, oh I wanted, I wanted the fat log. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. All right. We, we like our moves here. We like our moves. We do, we do like our moves. So please drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Oh! No. All right. That's all right. That's all right. That was actually the better, that was the better move. It because was, now he but... gets that horizontal. But but Bumbledon, if you're watching this back, we were we were cheering for that fat log so hard. <laughs> um and so Bumbledon a little bit ahead. A blue is gonna really help here. He gets it. And now he just needs a couple of blues. Um, Ramsey's got a tough end game ahead of him. He is very dependent on this horizontal setup with the blues. And now he's going to need three blues to get his yellow horizontal setup. So bumbled in, clearing out with a little more straightforward play. And now Ramsey out at a 219. But the doctor get, did give exactly what he needed. So mm -hmm. now he's free in here. <laughs> On this now, I would have actually taken those blues horizontally as my first play with that double blue he had on Ramsey's side. So uh, a little bit of a different style, um, but he's doing good work. <laughs> and anyone, you know, if you players are watching this back, Betty knows she is the a silver <laughs> silver champion. So uh, learn definitely learn from her. Now. We've got 26 to 28, a small advantage to Bumbledon. Ooh. He does not like the drop time that he took. There was a hesitation and a last second flip. And But his board looking okay. Now, Ramsey's board, he wanted to tuck that blue-red into columns one and two. Just didn't get it because I think that wasn't necessarily a DAS clear as he gets an as a good L. It, it was probably a multi-tap kind of situation. So... Um, that's going to take a bit time. to, yeah, yeah, that happens all the time. So that's going to be a little bit tough to clear out. But right here, oh, oh, t decided to take that move. Um, I really like how Bumbledon is uh, prioritizing some of his drops to where it limits the actual drop time of the viruses so, or of the pills. He's doing really good work there and setting mm -hmm. up for a lot of, I think, uh, horizontal plays with these blues, maybe? Yeah, he's he's like he's thinking about it. You know, you can you he he has the the textbook look of someone who's when he tries to clear out stuff on the right, he's like actually looking at that situation on the mm -hmm. left, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, he's getting it. He's getting it. And Ramsey is ahead now. He just needs these two reds. He's going to be out at a 4:10. So good time by Ramsey. But Bumble and hopefully right behind this does cause a little bit of trash to where that yellow is now buried. So we'll see how he handles this. Um, but it looks like he's just going to clear those reds from above and then um, hopefully get to that yellow eventually. Mm -hmm. Now, Ramsey's off to the start on the level 10, but you notice that there's just so much red. He's getting mostly blue yellows so far. And so he just doesn't really have a great place to put them. And I don't think he wanted to put that blue horizontally in that row. And, but he's got the opportunity to clear out all that garbage now. So whew, I can breathe again. Yeah, and again, on Bumbledon's side made a, a slight uh, mist drop and it's causing a lot more pills needing to, to clear this up. And so he needs one more blue uh, to be out and he gets it at a 5.11. Mm-hmm. And currently, Ramsey is at about a 14 virus lead. But obviously, if he his RNG keeps not cooperating, if he's not getting the stuff that his setups want, it's going to be not a lead at all. Um, and it looks like he is setting up for a red horizontal there. And it's, it's going to be good. But then he ends up with a bunch of garbage. So something for... Ramsey to think about in the future is as he is being very patient with those setups, thinking about dropping stuff strategically on top so that it falls down to the next layer in a way that will help him. And going back to what Uke said at the very beginning, he might just be in that versus mode where, you know, mm -hmm. you're you're not worried about clearing the viruses. You're you're worried about making those combos. And sometimes that takes priority. So um, definitely <laughs> we might be seeing that. Yes. I I love the versus tournaments live, but I it wrecks my speed game for a, a week or two. Nope. And so I'm always cursing that. Um, and so that's always tough for me. Bumbled in uh, just uh, nine, nine, ten viruses back working on this board. 
red in some awkward places. You don't like to see red in one, two, but he gets rid of that situation. And he does have the opportunity to clear these yellows out horizontally. Really nice. Clean this board is Betty. Yeah, like, but basically only needing reds at this point. Um, so we'll see how that works out for him. But on Ramsey's side, he's he's making some clears, but there's some trash in bad spots to where it's going to cause some um, mm -hmm. some fills being needed. We'll see how he handles this. So. Yeah, and so that's going to be that's going to be difficult. Him working that yellow. Uh, vertically like that but now he's got the opportunity this double red perfect and then he's got a red horizontal just as Bumbledon gets into level 11. So basically he's out, out at the same time yeah very uh, very seven exciting 7-11 yeah. let's go <laughs> hey let's go um nice nice clears from Bumbledon to start this out and uh I'm wondering is he gonna tuck underneath he did not he did not go for that tuck but that's okay I know that I really love the tucks, but um, <laughs> but he's got these good basic combos working and just bringing this board down evenly. It looks great. Yeah, and on Ramsey's side, he's making some, again, combo plays. The setup is to where he can hopefully take a lot of these just with one fill. And, but now it's all yellow on his, his line, mm. and that's what I was afraid <laughs> of. I saw that, but look at what he's doing he's he's making it work yeah he's manufacturing now that's the move that ramsey just made is pretty tough because you can tell that he's signaling that he wants to do horizontals and that did uh hamper his ability to do that but now he's back in it and he is back at his combo game but again just red yellow for him and bumbled in nice flip in there to get rid of quite a bit of garbage wow. and pills now, his board pretty high up on the left-hand side, and I think that I would prioritize the top over the bottom at the moment. Yeah, because the way he is um, doing it, it is causing a lot of drop time. So, But that little tuck did save a little bit of drop time there and um, clearing up some of his board. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and those pills really cooperating. So it's 14 to 18, advantage bumbled in. Ramsey, I think, looking for uh, manufacturing a T that's dropped there. Yep, and he gets it with a nice bonus on column six, those yellows. Really nice combo from Ramsey. So we'll see if he can pick it up just the little bit that's needed as Bumbledon gets a great combo there. Yeah, there was a lot of opportunities for Ramsey to use some of the uh, pills that he had for platforms and um that definitely could have cut down on some of the time that he needed but he's making good work down to his last three but bumbleton is out at a 941 and so he is taking this first match yeah really nicely done and ramsey just had three viruses left to go showing that these players are very evenly matched but gg's to bumbleton on that first win there in the finals out just under 10 so very good good match for both players <laughs> he's showing us our our uh you know wonderful tw twitch chat so thank you all for coming out here and watching i hope you are enjoying the show just like we are in the booth oh and might I point out, this was not true the last time I was calling matches, but we have 1,000 followers on the DRMC what? now. We have 1,000 followers. I did not notice that. Yay. Thank you all for, for coming in and, and liking what you see and, and hitting that heart button. So please do that if you aren't already following. Please go ahead and follow us. We, we uh, love, love to have you guys. <laughs> Yeah, it was hilarious because I mentioned it, I think, on the Friday of Gold Bracket that we had 994. And then the next day we had 993. And I was like, oh, OK, I'm just not going to I'm just not going to mention it. Um, you know, so, one troll in our chat. I know. Is probably I know. Like, oh. <laughs> so we have our three, two, one pills. And 
Ramsey's got to win this one in order to stay alive and give us what we want, that decider. But Bumbledon is just one game away from taking his first silver championship. So let's see what happens. I really don't like Bumbleton's board because, again, oh, well, he's, since yeah. I said that, has opened it up to where he does have use for blue now. But Ooh, um, nice tea there. Oh. That was good. Yep. That was good from Bumbledon. Love it. Um, Ramsey has got an interesting board as well. The setups are complicated. I mean, again, it's like very little use for red. So much yellow blue on there. Um, and I, I think he is trying to be fancy. Like I think he's setting up some fancy stuff and Mm -hmm. I I think he just needs to, to race through. I think he needs to go. Uh, from somebody who suffers from that same <laughs> issue, um, I completely get it. it. Sometimes this can be a flashy game if you allow it to be, but in mm-hmm. speedrun, it's not necessarily always the thing that you should be doing. So, um, and and he'll watch this back and be like, "Oh, I could have played that so much faster." Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. now Bumbledon, he's got an issue on column eight. You know, the reds, the yellows, the reds, and he did have some opportunities to use red yellows. And I think I would have used them over there uh, just to bring that column down, especially because of all that red that's there. But currently he's ahead by uh, one virus, although there's a two, uh, two second differential there. So good. He is using that red yellow on column one, and that's going to quicken things up just a little bit. But I will say a lot of his viruses are still very high up. So, um, and he's, purposefully probably avoided them at this point oh and that's gonna ruin his combo setup that he had so Mm -hmm. yeah you see that he saw it um Mm -hmm. and uh that's something that one of my friends john nash used to yell at me about all the time (laughs) competing plans competing plans um yep now ramsey not quite sure what he's going to do there. He's really eyeing the bottom. And I would love for him to use the red blues in column one to just take that situation out. You know, not wait on it. Now, uh, something that on Bumbleton's side, he he was continuing to wait for a certain pill to clear the um, blues so that it could lead into the yellows. But he really could have just as easily done a horizontal and cleared uh, the reds from that. So um, it's those type of plays that you'll see as you uh, continue to get better. But again, the first tournament out for Bumbleton, he's doing a wonderful job. Mm-hmm, for sure. And they're both basically out of level eight at the same time, about 247, <laughs> 249. So really nicely done. And uh, let's see a lot of blue here for Ramsey. So we'll see what he does here. And if, yeah, he did get a little mini double yellow blitz which ends in a double blue so we'll see how he sets up i think he was going for a horizontal which is now a little bit wrecked there but let's see how he goes he's got the yellow horizontal now boom and on bumbledon's side he has a very uneven board but i think it was mostly with the rng that was provided to him his board was just uneven from the start but he's uh, making horizontal plays and um having access to most of the colors except that yellow up oh, there we go <laughs> now he has access to it yeah and the thing is he shook his head at a drop that he made that caused a little garbage and there there wasn't really any way around it and the combo that he made was quite strong so you know be a little easier on yourself fumbled <laughs> in he has 20 viruses. Ramsey has 18. Ramsey's board health. Ooh, nice combo there from Bumbledon. Mm-hmm. Ramsey's board health, not great, just because we've got all these yellows on the top and um, blues blocking that issue on the left-hand side. I would have liked to see some prioritization for the viruses on the right, but all that garbage is cleared out now. Mm-hmm. And... Um... Also, another kind of insight is uh, using that double blue to over seven and eight. Um, You could have taken just one of those and not had the drop time of um, setting it up the way he did. So uh, Mm -hmm. that's on Ramsey's side. And again, it's just uh, things that we see that might be helpful for you guys going forward in uh, our monthly tournament. Mm hmm. Yeah, because these we are seeing some awesome potential here from these players and starting to see what their tendencies might be 
as they move forward. And so this is uh, this is pretty exciting. And again, both of them out of level nine, very close. This is like a three second game, which Let's is another nothing. Tie. How much uh, can we have another tie? Don't, no, don't, no, no, <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I have a. I I currently have a healthy heart, and I don't. I don't need it. I don't. I just don't need it, Betty. But I mean, oh, uh, a big hang up there from Bumbledon at the top of that board. We'll mm-hmm. see how he manages to deal with it. It's not too. Um, it's not too late to come up with a horizontal clear from that. He's playing on medium, so he. Can he's playing on medium, so that. he can get that over to the right oh, hand side. Not, yes, he, he can. Goes. There we go. Ooh. Good job, Bumbledon. <laughs> And Ramsey clearing out all this blue yellow that he has over here. Luckily, RNG cooperating here. I'm liking some of these plays that I'm seeing. I I always love the combo plays. That's the way to this woman. I know heart, you so. love your you love your combos. Um, yeah, I was practicing for the tournament last week, and I was getting very uh, frustrated with myself. And uh, Mr. Octagon popped in, and he said, "You know, not every play has to be epic." And I, I, I took that to heart and I tried to simplify way down. And uh, it savage really... with you, though, every play is epic. That's, that's what it is. <laughs> oh, I love you. Um, yeah, so we've got a, such a tight match again. Look at that. I mean, 19 to 15, slight edge to Ramsey there and on time as well. He's going to have to be cutting down his column uh column eight vertically that's all he's got to do but the double blue perfect for that so saving the day there is rng and let's see is he going to tuck that underneath Ooh, he does not tuck it that red yellow into columns six and seven but Mm -hmm. gets all of it anyway cleared out so now the only pill that he does not have access to is that yellow and and he now has access so prioritizing the blue side because he saw the double yellow. So you're always needing to look for that next pill on um, mm-hmm. what's to come because that could tell you whether what the good play to, is. So um, I really like that play from him. Yeah. And Ramsey out of that level 11, something about, or out of that level 10, rather, sorry, something about that next box. You know, if you're playing on, on high speed and you start pressing down, you know, before you see that next box appear that can that can be dangerous uh i've fallen victim to that many times <laughs> so these players giving a, a half second to see what's coming in front of them it looks great and bumbled in out of level 10 but i think that three and four red blue was a misdrop all the garbage cleared out now though yeah it's like it didn't even happen just a few pills wasted but um definitely getting back into this making some a lightning bolt play so we we love seeing this play Mm -hmm. yeah and double blue great for ramsey thought he was going to use it on the right hand side uses it on the left but now everything is free and clear of garbage but he is going to have a big barge of red blue to get through in order to take this game and just not getting the pills that he needs on on bumbleton's side um Mm. they're giving him blue when he didn't need it and still doesn't need it come on doc <laughs> right yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm not a fan but this is going to be good this blue yellow oh, oh he doesn't use it in column three wanted wanted to see him do that but uh we will see he is cutting it down now columns two and three yeah get it <laughs> and get um, it. on Ramsey's side he was he cleared something he did not intend to i don't believe um and took out a full line of of yellow without any viruses in it. So that's that's very difficult plays because you know that you built up that um to have it not clear anything. So but he's only down to three viruses. And so this is basically going to be his game if uh yeah. yep, there it is out of a 909. Almost a minute better than his previous time. Yeah, that is awesome to see. And bumbled in still with about 10 viruses left to go. They're taking this to a decider. That's what we wanted. And I wanted a tie. <laughs> I know you wanted that tie. I was just about to say, like, na 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 na. Right. No tie. <laughs> but still, great playing by both. Both, and we'll let uh, Bumbleding finish this this match if he chooses to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that column. Yeah, he sees that <laughs> column five. He's 
he's like, nah. So he is he is topping out there. I I agree with that call. I mean, <laughs> once you uh, <laughs> once you have that epic plan, and then it, you know, it's over. I apologize, Ramsey. I do laugh a lot, as you guys uh, can obviously hear. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I did write to you in my uh, Christmas card. Laughter does follow you wherever you go. So that's always a, a great quality to have in a friend. <laughs> so as we are uh, getting ready for our last game, we're going to need readies from both players. Chat is always so supportive. I know. <laughs> Hi, alcohol cider. <laughs> and we're also very funny. I, for anybody new joining our, <laughs> our community, uh, you know, we're hilarious. We'll tell you we're hilarious. So it will all be good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and some of us are even funny looking. So yeah, that, that always is that. true. All right. <laughs> we got ready from both players. For our finals. All right. Yeah, did all three all three games come down to deciders? Is that an apple teeny? <laughs> <laughs> three, two, one, pills. Here we go. Right. Let's go. All right. So an interesting opening board for both players. Um, Ramsey's going to have to deal with a lot of blue, trying to take that out efficiently. Oh, column. But he dropped column it. Three. He dropped it yeah, he dropped it. He dropped it. It's good. But it's still there. And so it's, I know it's way. still bothering you, Betty. That's uh, <laughs> that red blue in column, uh, column three there for Bumbledon. It's giving Ramsey a little opportunity to get started. Oh, yep. all right. You're seeing the exact same things I am. I'm like, ah, uh, we're just, <laughs> we're over here frightened for uh, Bumbledon. <laughs> but he's he's making um, good work on tucking things in uh, to avoid the trash that's on his board right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I do like the way he's prioritizing these double blues. Uh, you know, he could have tried to take out that garbage in column three, but it I think it'd be slower long term. So mm -hmm. now he's taking advantage of that. So nicely done. Yeah, rare uh, blue blitz. So we we love to see those when we need them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we got this double red for Bumbledon. Yes. <gasps> oh, oh, Bumbledon, you had me. You had me going there. I thought you might miss that, but okay, last minute it. adjustment. <laughs> now Ramsey just needs a couple of reds. He'll be out. Um, so. There he goes. Now that column seven, eight red, that's going to be difficult. He's going to have to be careful about that. Any garbage that falls down, how that gets arranged. Look at this. Bumbledon is uh, clearing those blues and now just has a uh, free clear of the red and yeah. yellow. And they're getting out of this again, hopefully at the same amount of time, because if RNG cooperates on Ramsey's side. Nice. Very, there very close there. Okay. Good. Oh, Bumbledon didn't go for that sweet tea. That's okay, because he still has a possibility for this horizontal setup with the blues there in the center of the board. Lots and lots of options here. Did block that option, but might be setting up for it in a different way than just mm -hmm. a double blue. On Ramsey's side, he just got a short stack, but now is down to mostly blues, but now a, a rare double blue. And let's see what he does with it. Tucks it under. Now, I gotta take a second because I feel like there's a disagreement on what counts as a short stack. And I wanna Oh, it might be me. That's, <laughs> That's no 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 no. It's like everybody. So we'll have to clear that up, but yeah. I do know the official Sarah Sparkle definition, so we'll have to talk about that in a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely. <laughs> now nice clearing out of the garbage with an L from Bumbledon. That column two is gonna be vicious for him. I don't know what his uh, plan is going to be he is able to get stuff over still to column one to drop um, but Ramsey has a much cleaner board at the moment there is a, a little bit of trash on Ramsey's side that he will have to deal with here but he's just prioritizing the uh, things that are easier to do I think <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah oh, and so you know I think that 
those row clearing out the blue in row four will help drop on top of that yellow. So we'll see if he does that, but he still needs uh, Ramsey still needs enough blue that he probably will try to put it somewhere else. Um, yeah, he's he's trying to get fancy here and now he can drop it. There we go. All right. Now, nice to inside, he has a huge issue in uh, columns two and three trying to like mm. somehow play within those. So. I don't even see the play, so <laughs> we'll see yeah, what he this does. Is, you know, uh, this is not what I was hoping for from this from this game. You know, I wanted it to be those, like, one-second things. But, mm -hmm. all right, Bumbledon gets a, a fat log to take out some trash, but he is really prioritizing this garbage. I, I think that's the play. I mean, what, what are you going to do? Yeah, if... I think if he horizontaled uh, one of those yellow rows, it will drop it to where the yellow can now go across and drop those those yellow, those reds. Sorry. Um, so maybe that is the play. Oh, but another miss miss flip on column seven and eight. Mm, yeah, it's already cleared out, but that's that's tough. And now he doesn't have the opportunity to take out that yellow in column two horizontally, like he was setting up for. So, yeah, Bumbledon just sort of spiraling out of there. He still has the opportunity here. Oh, he, he decides oh. to take the red. Okay, I understand. Right. Yep. A little difficult. Very challenging there. But Ramsey's well within his, uh, into his 10. So, oh, now he can play on Bumbledon's side. He can actually play All right, game, which is perfect. Perfect. Uh, yeah. yeah, I Thank know. You. you see him shaking his head, but you are out of it, my friend. You are out. And sometimes that's all you need to reset your brain and uh, keep playing your game. This is uh, keep keep at it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And again, once these levels get higher, again, as we just saw, anything anything could happen. And so, if the same situation happened to Ramsey, things would be evened up again. So, mm -hmm. uh, but Ramsey currently with four viruses left to go, everything free and clear. He just has to figure out what to prioritize. Um, one thing to keep in mind is uh, he is going for these blues separately. And one of the issues is, is if a double blue showed up, that would have been a wasted opportunity and he would have maybe had to wait and have RNG attack him. So you should try to go for one at a time, I think, unless yep. you see that uh, that double blue in sight. Thank you for mentioning that, Savage, because if you didn't, I was going to. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah. And that is something that uh, Dimwit talked to me about a lot. And and so, again, that just shows that these players in this community are really excited to help uh, other players. So if you ever have questions, let us know. I think and, that's the thing is we've all been there. So we all yeah. like, oh, yeah, I, I know exactly what. Oh, wow. Chonky, <laughs> chonky drop from Ramsey. Okay. We see you. We see <laughs> you, Ramsey. Beautiful. I see you getting back at me for saying uh, too fancy. That was excellent. Excellent. Um, but we do have a bunch of garbage now. Now, Bumbledon playing this level really well, but just look at this board yeah. now. No huh. use for these yellows that they're being sent either. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> All right. Combo from Ramsey. Drop T there. Nicely done. The right-hand side of Ramsey's board is going to be tricky because of all those blues. Let's see, is Bumbledon going to be able to get this horizontal? I think he is. There we go. There we go. A little bit of drop time, but that's okay. It does get him a cleaner board. Um, and yep, and he, for that drop combo, very good. And Bumbledon is going to be able to squeeze reds in between on column four. There he goes. He's going for that move. That is an excellent move, but now he's going to have to take out column eight first. Good prioritization, avoiding mm -hmm. the drop time. He is in level 11, so but Ramsey is very, very far ahead at the moment. Yeah, and just needing, and now he's going to do something to where now he can work within those yellows on column eight, so uh, doing well on his side. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
this almost seems inevitable, but uh, never say never. There's been <laughs> there's been huge um, differentials that have come, been come back from. So we'll see if Bumbleton can make this um, get down further in his his level. Yeah, Ramsey is looking for this blue horizontal, and wow. here he's going to get it. Drops yeah. down out at an eight forty six. Wow. Nicely done gotten better and better again he that was his even better than his second round so uh good job to both players uh this is Ramsey's silver bracket to win so good job Ramsey yeah so he gets a couple of points for our year-end championship standings GG's to both players congratulations to Sergeant Saros and Bumbledon and Luke for ha being in their first bracket and J Riggs last week in the gold. Thank you so much. And if you want this to be you, please <laughs> join our discord. I am going to uh, fix up this month's bracket so you can see all the epic times and epic wins. And then I am going to open up qualifying season for February, February oh speed God. tournament. Let's get stoked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. So happy Valentine's Day to me. <laughs> happy Valentine's, early Valentine's Day, better than chocolate. So <laughs> thank you so much to Betty. Thank you to Ook. And of course, Betty, who else are we going to thank? You, Dave, our wonderful hey, restreamer. We love oh, him. <laughs> we love him so. He's so great. And he's just in charge of making sure everything goes smoothly. And thank you to all of you for joining us. And please join us for the SNES tournament and gold and, of course, silver next month. And until we see you again, take your vitamins.